Hey guys, this is Eric here from Laser Scanning TV and this is a short video Lixel K1 for historical scanning. We scan a monument, uh, um, um, an old graveyard and a castle. One of our staff men from the marketing department take the scanner on the weekend and scan something what he was interested to see. And afterwards he makes some post-processing and we got great results out. And if you would like to see what you can use within very cost efficient scanner and what you get out you will be impressed and that you can see in this video. I take you now here on my screen in uh, North Germany. You see something that looks like a picture but uh, we will change our uh, view to, yeah you can see if I uh, jump here in and out we get see here that we already have a point cloud and we jump back and we got this nice avatar lady and I can walk now with this, uh, this this lady have already a name did you know it or maybe somebody know it if this is a, a, a kitty girl or a lixel girl or a, I don't know Maybe somebody know it and can write it inside. So now you're thinking hey, I, the, this dude play a computer game, but that's not true. Uh, I can move here and then we already see we are moving in the point cloud. This is the point cloud what we take. If you are not so familiar with the K1, we have here a um, laser sensor inside. You're walking like this and then we have here the additional cameras. And this... Um, um, point cloud will be projected by the picture and then you get this nice uh, Gaussian split view and you can see um, this whole area was captured in only 15 minutes and everything what we see here it's done full automatic in the Elixir software and then you can get this nice avatar person here and you can walk around like I do this and you get a really realistic view of this area and I think that's a great application for this price for everything with CGI, historical stuff, maybe also house market, uh, like real estate. That's a super nice technology. And um, our guy take this data later and put this in an additional program. He put this afterwards in his after effects. You have to buy also a small plugin to run the Gaussian split and then you can make an um, yeah, you can work with the uh, Gaussians. You can make also some editing. He make an, um, a color um, adjustment in the software and calculate um, an afterwards a movie from this. Uh, this you can see here. And I think this whole data processing was around four hours. You have 15 minutes walking outside. Uh, processing is full automatic in the software. It took some time, but you don't have to do anything. And afterwards he make this upgrade of the Gaussian split. Uh, in After Effects for within four hours to get this out. Additionally, we have the option that you import the data in the VESA software and calculate their video um, uh, from that. And you have also some editing and option to put some 3D elements inside. The same you can do in After Effects. I'm not sure if you can make a light addition uh, in VESA. Uh, I think it's maybe also possible, but I think the options from a real 3D pro program like After Effects will be better. So and that's all. I think what I can summary or summarize here from this application is super great what you get out. And, and somebody who is not a scan man, who is in, coming from a different industry, can grab the scanner, walk 15 minutes and get such great results out. I think that's a, really a kind of revolution for this up kind of application, this um, uh, get the real world in or in, in uh, the digital world and super realistic. That's, I think, the coolest stuff what, what um, was developed in the last uh, two years in, for this application, and I like it. Maybe you leave a comment if you like this too, if you are also super enthusiastic by Gaussian splatting. Uh, let us know, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, or subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye, Eric.